Hey guys, RPJT here. Um, taking a look at Oldham again. Uh, actually, this time the daily area uh, versus Old Oldham. Um, what we're going to be looking at is. So I actually need to send me myself back to present time. But we're going to be looking at um, an area which is pretty good for fishing. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to show you guys is fishing. So you can do actually this area in here is probably good for more uh, void fin. Any in inland area, stream, pond, any inland area is good for void fin. But the, uh, the Nasher is actually more based out near the uh, open water or the ocean, I found. So you kind of get more, more results over there. So we're actually going to go uh, heading over here. Give me one sec. Um, but another thing that we should uh, note while we go over here is that um, right here, there's these dune scavengers, <coughs> and they're also good for uh, dredge leather as well. I think there you can get them in certain groups. So if you find out that uh, you're looking for a dredge leather, and um, they're actually right here. Yeah, the dune runners. You can, uh, you know, group them up pretty easily here. They're usually three or four in a pack, uh, and then move from one area to the next. But yeah, there, there's a bunch here. Yeah, there's some there too. Um, they have a fast respawn rate as well. I think they were probably for a quest. So if you have skinning and you have m good fishing, like max fishing, this is probably like one of the better things for you to do because you can actually, uh, this is the fishing spot right here on the pier. And then you can run back and forth and do both uh, pretty quickly. So the dune scavengers are here and then the fishing spot is here so yeah so you can transfer back and forth so let's say you know i just killed all these dune scavengers skin them all they're not responding fast enough i can come over here do a little bit of fishing while i wait for them to respawn um, and vice versa if you wanted to or whatever you really wanted to it's up to you but all right so let me just show you guys kind of the the area that i like to fish, just chill, listen to some music, watch some Netflix, do whatever you're doing. Um, I will say, I know my inventory is maxed out right now, but um, the oversized bobber is like one of the best things to have when you're fishing. You just click it. It doesn't cost much of anything either. Um, <clears throat> you just click it, and then, oh man, where's my button? I must have thrown it out. Um, but yeah, you just, so let me just do that. We're good. All right. And you throw it out and then there it is. Yeah. And you know, it's so large that it's hard to miss and you can zoom in obviously. And we got a malformed Nasher. What do you know? Crazy, right? So yeah, this is uh, the ocean's pretty good for finding these malformed Nashers. Um, actually, let me just turn on loot appraiser. They are going for 68 gold. I think my last video that I did for the void fin, they were about the same price. I don't think they're they're very different. But yeah, this is a nice area to get for the male uh, the malformed nasher. Um, so yeah, you could do this for a while. Just relax, you know, catch a bunch of fish, make about. 4,000 gold in 15 minutes similar to the void fin because I was averaging about 60 fish every 15 minutes so yeah about five fish every minute so yeah take a look at this one see if you like it um, and uh, like and subscribe all right take care guys see ya bye